Stocks or real estate? Which one should you invest in? Let's find out right now. Hey guys, it's Brad Reynolds with Synergy, hashtag Think Nashville, Think Brad. And if it's me, it's 100% real estate over stocks. Why? Because I can make more money with it. And so can you. You see, compound interest is one of the great wonders of our world. How does it work? The whole idea that you start with a small amount of money and turn it into a big amount of money. And the reality is there's a ton of things you could invest in these days. Crypto, stocks, real estate, bonds, the sky is truly the limit. My career as an investor goes back a long ways, back to early 2001. I was 14 years old. I was working at my church doing upward basketball games. They paid a whopping $5 per game. But at the end of that season, I basically took the money that I made, 250 bucks, and invested it into a stock. And that stock was General Electric. Now it was a terrible choice. It basically went nowhere, but it started something in me. How can you take a small amount of money and turn it into more? While my interest in stocks has never been lower, my love, admiration, respect, and every known positive word you could think of for real estate has never been higher. Now I wanna give you a couple of the big pros as well as a few minuses for why I think that. First, the pros. The biggest one, it increases in value. If you buy the right property at the right price, at the right time, in the right location, you are almost guaranteed that over time it's gonna go up in value. And here in Middle Tennessee, eight to 10% a year is about right. Next, bargaining ability. If I go out to buy a stock today, there's millions of participants, millions of people that are a lot smarter than me out there buying stocks. I really can't get a bargain deal there. Whatever it's trading at is what I'm gonna buy it at. But with real estate, I have 12 plus years now of looking at properties, valuing them, and seeing opportunities within opportunities to where sometimes I can buy a place a little below what it's worth and other times way below what it's worth. I love getting bargains and I get that in real estate. Lastly, rental income. If I buy an investment property, I can rent it out to someone else who pays that mortgage. That mortgage is gonna stay basically the same over time except for small income increases in tax and insurance. And I can raise the rate every year or every other year and have more and more cash flow to go and buy more and more rental property. So ultimately, there's a lot of flexibility with real estate. When I buy it, I like to hold it. I don't like to sell it. And as it goes up in value, I can do a cash out refinance. I can do a HELOC. I can access that value when needed to go and buy more real estate. Overall, your return should be higher in real estate than in stocks. Yes, it's going to require more work and be more hands-on. Typically, your IRR should be at least 15% or more, especially for income producing properties per year. And think of your IRR as just another word for return. In terms of cash on cash return, eight to 12% is about right. Conversely with stocks, you've really only got two ways to make money with it. One is that it goes up in value, and the other is that if it's a stock that pays a dividend, you could get that quarterly. So now that we've talked about the pros, let's talk about the downfalls. The reality is nothing is perfect in life. Real estate is gonna be more hands-on. That's the number one takeaway versus stock. Stocks is kind of set it and forget it. So here's a couple quick ones to know. First, your stocks are never going to forget to pay the rent. Your stocks are never going to dodge your calls, mess your house up, or worst case scenario, have to be evicted. Those are things that aren't so pleasant about real estate. Next, real estate is less liquid than stocks. If I have an emergency come up in life and I've got a bill to pay, I can't exactly go and pay and sell a house immediately and get paid. I can with stocks. If I have a big bill come up, I can sell the stocks and have the money in my account just a few days later. That is a big plus for them. Lastly, it's easier to diversify. If I have $100,000 sitting in a bank account, I can probably in Middle Tennessee buy one house with it, use it as the down payment, and I've got that one house. Conversely, I could go out and buy a number of stocks with it and diversify. And if one stock goes down too much, it's probably not gonna impact me very much. But if I had a rental property that I used at 100,000 bucks and I buy next to a plant and the guy renting from me works for the plant and that plant closes, I could be in trouble really fast. So there is less diversification in real estate. I like real estate. It's something I've learned to like and love over the last 12 years. I love meeting new clients. I love showing buildings. I love going under contract. I love negotiating a deal, working through a deal, closing a deal. It is amazing. And I love doing it for myself too. Stocks conversely are too easy. You log online to your brokerage account, you buy a stock, and you just kind of hang out. It's almost too easy. Maybe that's for good reason. But for me, real estate is the place to be. So whether you're buying your first home, your first rental property, your 30th rental property, or anywhere in between, 
calls for all of your real estate needs. We would love to help. As always, think Nashville, think Brad. We'll see you soon. Cheers. <music>